Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to a slightly murky Engertopia. Now, last time we invested heavily in the oil industry, trying to fix my money problems. And unfortunately, looking at my money down here, we're still we're still in the negative per hour. Oh, and I've just realized as well, it's not called Engertopia anymore. It's Engertopia. Engertopia. But yeah, I feel like as soon as someone moves into this oil refinery, you can see currently there's, there's no company there. It does say higher industrial demand will resolve the situation. So I guess just don't build any industrial industrial because what are we we're like we're sort of half demandish there's lots of demand for everything else that i should probably build at some point but yeah my aim today was to try and fix where was it yeah over here uh, architect island so this is where the architects live you can see it's it's their ideal natural habitat with like landfills pollution in the background uh, literally surrounded by a poop moat um but unfortunately we don't actually we don't have there's no like overflow. So this only has a limited capacity and so it's completely filled with poo. Which means we're going to need somewhere else to store all that liquid turd. And uh, during this I will try and keep my poop puns to a minimum. Because I mean they, they stink really. <laughs> That may make me a bit of a party pooper. Shut up! But yeah, looking at the time, it's it's poo 30, so I better crack on. Oh, look, crack was on as well. Get it, butt crack. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Anyway, we do, we've, we've got a little bit of time. Like, the poo isn't going to flood out yet. So let's get all these demands up. Because if I can get some of the other demands up, that will probably get the industry demand up. Like, if we increase our population, etc. So a bit more of what I love to do in this game, colouring in. And you know, what I might do, because I can see, can you see that symbol there? People are struggling with high rent. Basically, because this is, like, becoming the centre of my city, there's, like, big buildings. If we go into commercial, look at that bright green. That means, like, there's loads of customers there. Like shops want to buy these people's houses. I um, mean, it's making them unhappy because they got high rents. They can't afford it. So what I might do, I literally might just put some high density shopping there. Like get rid of a load of those houses. And then I've also got high density housing, which I can probably shove like there and there. Because that's only going to up the demand. So yeah, sorry people that live there. I'm complaining about your high rent. But you're now, you're being demolished. You shouldn't have complained. You are all out of there. And you're being replaced with big old shopping buildings. But yeah, from the start, this has always been my plan to make this like the center of my city, like the built up area. So it will shove some medium density with shops underneath there as well. That will satisfy two bars. Yeah, look at those going down. That is good. Oh, I never, I never, two things. I never expanded the Britishville layout. So let's just make Britishville true to its actual size. So there we go. I'm going to make it a gated community. Now that shouldn't really change anything because a gated community just means, like, unless you live there, you're not allowed in. Because I've done it British, I've made it out of cul de sacs. Like there's no point people going in there anyway. But yeah, so all all of this basically only has like two entrances like down there and down there which means over this way all the traffic they're all trying to go the same way and it's pretty busy up here so what i want to do i want to encourage people to use this road and i'm going to do that by bringing my arterial road down this way and then putting a probably a cheeky little distribution road up this way and then adding a few connections, right? So it should be quicker. Like if you live, if you like live here or something, it should be quicker to come around this like fast road and then come up this way. And to be honest, maybe worth demolishing these two houses. And get another junction in there. Nice. All right. And then ugh, crossroad. Shove around about in a few. Just about save that. But yeah, just paint this up with low density. And then that is enough realism for one day. It makes me feel a bit weird doing things realistic in this game. Time to build a poop kano. Oh my goodness. Look over here. Look what I've just noticed. These... <laughs> We've got synchronized airplane landings. Are you a bit close to each other? Do you not think that's a little bit weird? <laughs> oh, now you're now you're very close. Oh my goodness. It's the train centipede. Oh wow, look, we got we got traffic up here. Why is there traffic up here? Alright, what oh what is going on? Road maintenance vehicle. Why are you going so slow? This keeps stopping. Is it to repair the road? I don't know. It keeps stopping and it's holding everyone up. It's <laughs> it's causing absolute carnage. I guess that is the trouble, building like a big old feature road like this. It does require lots of maintenance. Can I actually have a look up here? Where's road? Yeah, road condition. I mean, it's completely green. It doesn't need repairing in the slightest. I mean, to be fair, my entire city's green. Look at that. I mean, there's a little bit of... We could use a little bit of repair over that way, but generally, road's in tip-top condition. Okay, nice. Question is, are we making profit? No, we're really not. Minus 13 grand. Has anyone moved into this yet? Still no. There's not enough employees. I'll tell you what, I feel like maybe I need to like connect this area a bit better. Like, we've got this cargo train station here. Would it be worth 
worth getting like a passenger train in. I mean, what I'm thinking, because all I need to do, I just need people to commute from like over there up to here. Would it be worth just getting a train station, like literally just to link these together? Like, let's say I buy, let's buy there, 42 grand purchase. I'm looking at the topography. It's very, very slopey. So let's level this out a little bit because trains don't like going up or down hills. All right, then we can just soften this slope out a bit. There we go. I was going to say wang a train station. I think I need, I need to buy the plot next to it. Oh, that is the trouble with all this engineering. You need more land than you ever think. But yeah, we can then shove that there. Realize that that was a rail yard and not a train station. So then delete it and build. Oh, the train station's tiny. Oh, I wouldn't have needed all that. Right. Well, anyway, it's in now. So, boosh, shove that there. And um, I just realized I do need, like, the rail yard. So, probably worth... If I connect this over to that track, then we are connected to a rail yard. So that's how we can get trains here. But yeah, I'm just going to take both of these over the road like that. All right, and then I just want to see how far can I build? How much is it? That's only 35 grand for 2.8 kilometers of railway. Are you mental game? Right now, it seems that my railway wants to go over the pylons, not under it. So we will comply. Then we'll come down to here because we're going to want a train station by the airport. We'll shove that in. And then another one down here with good access. So probably like down down here, perhaps. Whoa, that made some people happy. Right, so new train track over this way. All right, and then I was trying to work out like why, why I couldn't build there. I failed to do my site survey. Look, there's low voltage electrical cables where I want my railway to go. This is why in the UK, we always do something called stats inquiries, where basically we just like say, right, we're planning to build a railway along here. Send a map out to all the all the utility owners. Uh, let us know, are we going to are we gonna clash with your equipment? But yeah, in this case, we are. So we're going to delete those and swap with some underground cabling. Boosh, which means we can put our railway in. And uh, worth noting in real life, the, what are those planes doing in tandem? In real life, the, the stats, who pays to like get them diverted is like whoever's building whatever it is. So it's not the stats companies that like have to pay to divert their services. If you want to if you want to move like a pipe out the way or electrical cable out the way, you got to pay for it yourself. Right. But anyway, we now have we now have a train line which will give people an extra way to commute to this area, which will hopefully fix the lack of labor down here. Um, it probably isn't help that like there's not really it's not very good road access. So I've just added extra road access should make it a bit easier oh by the way check out the oil on the back of the train well yeah back of the train not front i nearly said front of the train but it is technically the back that's taking my oil out to like the edge of the map getting me some cash right if we just had some passenger railway lines so we say go from there to there and then back again right okay sorted we now have train access to this area hopefully that will fix this issue and then maybe we'll make profit the <laughs> We're making less and less money all the time though, right? Sod this. It's poo volcano time. Okay, so first off, I got 15 development points. I need to head into power. And then yes, the hydroelectric power plant is what we want. Unlock that. All right, so then we decide where we want this. Now, since I think this is like everything upstream, the river's flowing right to left. So we'll probably shove it like down over this way. Maybe these four tiles will do. 200 grand spent. Oh no, and then I need... I need to get pipes over, don't I? I can only afford four more tiles. Maybe I should have built it like there. Oh, it's 200 grand purchase. That's like all my money gone. But yeah, this poop moat is filling up fast. And basically when that's full, we need to cut off the, the sewage supply, shove it over it. Now, thankfully in this game, the landscaping is free. So what I want to do, shift terrain tool. Let's work out exactly how tall we want this thing. That's probably okay. It may even be a bit too big not entirely sure but right level terrain tool right click on the top make the brush size way bigger and then do that sort of thing all right then make the brush size smaller right click down there and then we're literally we're just making a donut so nom okay so that's pretty good i have a feeling this may be like way too tall actually but basically what i want to do i want to two bird one stone it i want to build a dam but yeah i'm not sure if that's going to be too tall i mean to be fair it doesn't say anything about being too tall all it says is distance too long and not on shoreline and i think not on shoreline because it's in because it's in yellow doesn't actually matter so let's cut a hole out that looks pretty good to me then let's see do we think the game will let me damn like across there like that i feel like it might i just need i just need four million quid <laughs> 
<laughs> Four million. Okay, let's have a look at the loans. How much can I... Oh, I could borrow 3.7 million. That would nearly be enough. Man, I am really using... I need to get some grain farms. 720 tons a month. All right, we're spending 2 million a month. I mean, 400,000 is on transportation. I need more money. 700 grand to maintain my electrical network. All right, my roads are in good nick. And we saw those trucks. They're just like wasting time. So road budget way down. Parks. I got like a billion parks. Oh, maybe I can delete all the parks. Where, where were all those parks I built last time? It was like an XP glitch. Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> Look at all these parks. I mean, to be fair, they, they are being used. There's like there's like a guy just sat there like wondering why his beard's gone gray and his hair hasn't. Oh my goodness, don't look down, mate. But uh, behind you, I think that's your doppelganger. Oh no, my mistake. This guy, this guy has gray hair. Wait, or is that a wig? Are you wearing a gray wig? But yeah, considering these are meant to be places of happiness for children, there's a lot of middle class depressed men just stood around. And this guy's half in a cardboard fort as well. And he's shaking his head because I'm staring at him. Sorry, mate. But yeah, right. Let's let's get some money back. Let's delete a load of these. That's too many parks. It really is. And look at all these people that are now like, oh, what, what am I going to do now? This was my area. But yeah, that is park budget way down. Seems like our trains did not fix this area here, the lack of labor. And no one's moved into the oil refinery yet either. But on the positive, I've got 500 grand. So I could take the loan. All right, what I might do, up the ticket price, lower the number of trains on all these lines. All right, and then tell you what, what I might do is try and get workers here. Let's get some high density residential in, some low rent housing as well. Just like a little building for people to live close. Maybe they will go and work over here. Maybe. All right, meanwhile, back over here, look. These medium density houses, they got high rent. We probably actually want to swap the, the medium density with high density. Trouble is, I just used up all the demand over that way. Wait, is it too late to change my mind? Man, that is that's a lot of building. And 140 people have moved in already. 26 dogs. By the way, money is going up. Can you see that number? It's getting bigger. Oh, that's right. Look, we're making profit. Wait, what? All of the these are high density. They can't afford to pay rent. I thought the whole point was you put higher density housing in if you can't afford rent, because more people live there, so there's more people paying like money per area. Is that not how this works? Right, anyway, looking at traffic down here, can you see everyone's coming off the slip road, going around this roundabout, then up over there, and then majority are trying to turn right. So what I might do. I might try and give them a bit of a shortcut. And so if I do that, hopefully they'll keep going. They'll start coming around the roundabout and then around this roundabout. I mean, they don't have to do that. Has everyone got taxis to work? Look how many taxis there are. <laughs> I think everyone's getting a taxi to work because this is now where everyone works. All right, anyway, I've got a million quid. So I reckon loan all the way. Oh, no, I can't do that. Look how much interest. 40% interest. I'll be losing a million a month, but I want to build my dam. Okay, so I've been doing a bit of tweaking, just like the standard city skylines play. And you can see we're up to 2.8 million quid now. Um, And so I was just going to wait a bit longer so we make more money. However, Architect Island is about to leak. So unfortunately, I don't really have time to like wait for any more money. So we're going to have to see how much does this dam cost. We're going to need about 4 million quid, which means taking my very first loan, I think I'll borrow 1.4 million except so now i've got the 4 million i need which means oh boy i can afford the dam boosh oh wow there it is <laughs> there it is how tall can you do this i did not think we'd be able to build that dam but yeah that is good so that that is uh that is in now so next up probably want to pause the game and then we're gonna want to oh my god they're under they're underwater they've been flooded these sewage outlets but yeah let's delete both of those yes underground delete the pipes that don't go anywhere right okay sorted now sewage outlets up here so let's shove four of them up there for now and then connect them with a pipe network we're gonna have to find a way to get down from up here and like i could do a straight road that's still too steep okay so it can go to there but it'll cost 200 grand why do roads suddenly cost so much alternatively Perhaps I could work my way around the edge. Just slowly carving into this side of this cliff. Because thankfully, each piece only costs like 200 quid. Even though, look how much concrete went into those retaining walls. All right, I've just got to hope that we get down before we reach the dam. Oh, wow. Okay, I think that was close. I think that was actually close. All right, okay, but that's good. So we've wrapped a road all the way around, which should mean if we just stay looking at these. Hang on, why is nothing happening? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hang on, pause, pause. 
<laughs> okay, my connection didn't quite work. Oh, yeah, because they don't go across bridges. All right, but after a little bit of connection, we are now good. And way down in the depths, we are now filling up with poop. That is filling up quite fast, actually. But there's, there's plenty of capacity here. This is why we built this thing. And uh, hopefully, Architect Island, it will never... The poo shouldn't evaporate, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> where these architects live there's high rent they've literally got a poop moat and like and like that they're looking at how is that possible i don't know all i do know is we no, not the pegasus dam the pugasus dam all i know is it is a mighty feat of engineering it took all my money and apparently in an hour's time i'm not gonna have any money left but i reckon it was probably worth it maybe so for now i'll say peace love and pukenos bye guys